So apparently, Mustafa Ali has requested his release from WWE. And the WWE has responded by saying, Nah, we good. You gonna stay here for now. <laughs> now you talk about petty crap. That is petty. You have somebody that doesn't want to be there that is asking for a release, basically meaning you don't have to pay them anymore. You could take that money in whatever length of contract that person has and free it up and invest it elsewhere in the organization. And you say, nah, we good. You can stay right here. Which is especially made worse because you know it's not like a Mustafa Ali is going to go to an AEW or anywhere else and really blow the roof off and be a game changer. He's not. He's not. Don't be delusional and dumb here. He's not. So this is absolutely petty shit by WWE. Pathetic. It really, really is. But with the news of this happening, you're seeing people... Hashtag Free Ali and talking about um, Mustafa Ali has been done wrong by WWE. Now he's been mistreated and all of this and all of that. Almost sounding like Mustafa Ali himself at this point. I've got to ask the most key fundamental question about Mustafa Ali. What is so special about him other than his complaining? Like maybe you really like his hair. It's got a bit of a Roman Reigns vibe to it, a Polo Malu type of vibe to it. It's soft, it's luxurious, ladies can run their fingers through it, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you like that. Maybe it's the fact that you don't say his name Mustafa, you say it as Mustafa Ali. Maybe that is special, I don't know. Maybe it's that and the hair, I don't know. But what is so special about him? Arguably, his single greatest contribution to WWE was when he got fucking injured and got yanked out of the Elimination Chamber match a couple of years ago, which opened up the pathway for Kofi, which ultimately led to Kofi Mania at WrestleMania. I mean, what is it? If you really truly think about his single greatest contribution to WWE during his career... That sounds shitty, yes, but sometimes the truth hurts like a mother humper. And this mother humping truth is, is that the most important thing that Mustafa Ali has ever done in WWE was get injured so he could step aside so we could get to experience that road to WrestleMania and Kofi Mania. I'm not trying to bash the dude and say that he's a crappy wrestler or he's a crappy talent or anything like that. But this dude complains all the fucking time about his spot and his positioning and how he's being leveraged and how he's being used. And at some point in time, you got to stop pointing everything outward. And at some point in time, you got to start looking inward too. What could you do differently? What could you do better? You don't like the way they feature you. Well, at some point in time, do you ever push back and say, hey, this is really freaking stupid. Hey, retribution is a dumbass angle, a dumbass idea, and I don't want any part of it. Have you done anything to grow your skills as an entertainer, as an actual performer? Learn how to be a character. Learn how to tell stories. Learn how to cut decent promos that aren't goddamn work shoot promos. The answer is no, 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 fucking no. Instead, all he does is continue to hone the one skill he's got, which is fucking complaining about his spot and the way he's being utilized and everything else. And I realize that this makes him popular with a segment of the hardcore and internet fan base, especially those on social media, because they look at this dude and be like, yeah, that's another example of the man, Vince, and WWE holding him down. You know, sometimes it's not somebody else holding you down. Sometimes it's yourself holding yourself down. And could there certainly be things that I would look at and say, hey, if I got to work with Mustafa Ali from a creative standpoint, I could shit out a much better angle or storyline or creative than what Vince ultimately signs off on and agrees to with him? Absolutely. Absolutely. But at some point in time, you still have people within WWE that figure out a way to la navigate the landmine that is the creative process, navigate the landmine that is Vince's ever-changing desires, and they figure out a way how to get over. They figure out a way 
how to be relevant. They figure out a way to get consistently prominently featured on television. You can't tell me Sami Zayn was ever put in stu wasn't ever put in su stupid spots. He absolutely was. The difference was he went with it. He rolled with it. He worked at his goddamn craft. He learned how to stop being some El Generico ass, stupid ass spot monkey and learned how to become an actual sports entertainer, which, hey, like that or not, the reality is you have to know the game that you're in. And that's the game that you're in in WWE for whatever the fuck that means anymore. So you either have to adjust to it or you need to shut your fucking mouth. But instead, this dude all the time talking about I want out and I want to be released or before they're not using me right and da da da. I see this dude doing so much bitching and pissing and moaning and complaining and not improving on his craft and honing his skills that you know what? I frankly can't blame WWE for not pushing him more. I can't blame WWE for not putting him in a bigger spot because as soon as they fucking did, he'd take that entitled ass attitude and that would be a goddamn problem too. And I know a lot of people like to view the WWE as the evil of Titan Tower machine and they've done plenty of things over the years and continue to do plenty of things that make them to be viewed in that light and they merit it and they deserve it. They absolutely do. And if you feel like they could have done better or done more with Mustafa Ali, I would say I don't fundamentally disagree with you. I think our definitions of what they could do or what they could have done with him and how they could have presented and featured him better are probably very divergent because you're probably looking at it, I have no standards, he can do flips, therefore he must be world championship material. And I say, eh, not everybody needs to be a goddamn world champion main event guy. Not everybody can be, not everybody should be. And the problem is you have too many people that are and that's where you run into some of the problems. But you can find a way to make him unique. You can find a way to make a Mustafa Ali stand out and be different. Even though, when you get outside of the name and the pigment and maybe the hair, although, again, you have guys on the roster with some hair, like, there's nothing fundamentally different or special about a Mustafa Ali. He complains like he has something special to bring to the table. The reality is you never see it. And you can't tell me you ever see it. It's not there. It doesn't exist. It's imagined. Like, I hate when I hear people talk about millennials and they crap on millennials for their sense of entitlement. And I say, oh, don't even get me started fucking baby boomer generation. Like, you you of all generations have no right to fucking talk about that. But, hey, when you see shit like this, it's the instead of working harder to get better, to do better, and force the company's hands, force the powers that be's hands, I'm just going to sit there, whine, piss, bitch, and moan and complain about it because that'll make me feel better. And that way I can have the wronged viewpoint. I'm wronged, I'm the victim, and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that shit is freaking annoying. And people online and on social media feeding into this aren't helping. Oh, I wish they would release him, just release him so we could go to AEW and what's he gonna do there? What? Look at the number of guys that AEW's brought in that they don't know how the fuck to feature whatsoever. Look at what they're doing with Adam Cole. That shit's horrendous. Period. Andrade. Horrible. Malachi Black. It's kind of mid and somewhat irrelevant now. Right? Took a Jay Lethal, if you felt good enough about signing him, you shouldn't be sitting there and failing to utilize a former ROH world champion. What the hell makes you think that Mustafa Ali would have a better shot there? He wouldn't. For every Darby Allen that gets pushed and featured very well, you'll have 15 other talents in AEW that they don't know what the hell to do with them either. So changing the location, changing the spot does not in any way, shape, or form mean it's going to change the trajectory or altitude of Mustafa Ali or position, a career or position on the card. It just doesn't. I mean, I understand that he might want to get released from WWE. Maybe he wants to be closer to his kids, spend more time with his family, what have you. You know, sometimes you get somewhere and you think it's a dream until you get there and you realize it's a nightmare. I am certainly empathetic to that. And I can certainly envision that that would be the case. 
And I would also sit there and say, for a lot of these people that are getting into wrestling, you, know, you have to really understand what you're getting involved with and into with WWE. And you should be really, really careful and not get your hopes up too high or not live with too much with your head in the clouds because you're going to be disappointed. But you can't be mad when they don't release you because they don't have to release you. And I could even argue that you haven't even done a good enough job of complaining or being a pain in the ass enough to be able to force their hand to release you. So you complain all the time. This is the one special trait that Mustafa Ali has. And it's not even that special of a skill. He complains all the time about his spot and position, but not effectively enough to ever actually change his spot or position. But he doesn't actually complain enough to be annoying enough or grating enough, enough of a pain in the ass, enough of an asshole to deal with backstage to where the company says, fuck it, yeah, we're over this shit, we're just going to release him. He can't even get that right. And you got people talking about push this guy. Why? The one thing he does best, he can't even do it at a special level. The one thing, that's all he's got. I'm tired of these guys like a Mustafa Ali that complain all the time and people prop him up. I get tired of hearing about how a guy like Mustafa Ali and so many other guys and gals could do so much more, could do so much more. The reality is that they could. Why don't they? And as much as you want to blame the WWE and Vince, and there is plenty of blame to go there, yes. At some point in time, you have to look at the talents and say, they're not adapting to and adjusting to the environment that they're in. That's on them. So stop pumping this guy up like he's something great. There are literally hundreds of other dudes in the wrestling business just like him. There absolutely are. You cannot tell me that there isn't because you know that's true. And the one thing, the one thing, again, I want to emphasize, the one thing that Mustafa Ali does, allegedly at a high level, complain, he can't even get that right.